Breaking news tonight at 10. Menominee Falls Police now giving the all clear for people to return to their homes after this large brush fire. Several homes were evacuated as the blaze lasted for hours. Cassidy Williams has been there all day and is live with an update. While we can no longer see any flames in the distance, officials say the fire is now under control. But where we are, you can see some of the conditions that led to this. It is very dry out here. It is easy to snap the tall grass. That combined with the wind helped make this the largest wildfire in Wisconsin this year. Friday afternoon was interrupted by flames for miles along Marcy Road. What we quickly found out is we had several smaller fires that stretched basically from Pilgrim Road west to west of Lannan Road. At one point, inching closer to the home of Kathy Powers. I thought it was fog, and it wasn't. It came out, and it was smoke. So I called 911, and the line was busy. Powers did not have to evacuate as firefighters kept the blaze far enough out. Around 5 p.m., when police gave an update, there had been no evacuations. We had some initial reports where houses were close to the fire. We did not evacuate uh, currently, and I forgot to mention this. There are no reported injuries or structures that were uh, on fire or had needed to be extinguished. Uh, it's really generally isolated to the woods, the swamp uh, grass and things like that. The fire left behind more than 250 acres of charred grass. We are burned as far as you can see. DNR officials warning people that with the low humidity and high winds expected to continue, Wisconsin will be at a high risk for fire all weekend long. Powers grateful the firefighters kept this place in the grass. Thank you. Oh my. No, they're great. DNR officials have now updated their estimate to more than 400 acres involved in this fire. There has been no official word on what may have caused this, but DNR officials are asking people not to burn this weekend because of those weather conditions. Live in Menominee Falls, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. Cassidy, thank you.